Hi, in this problem, we're going to graph this hyperbola. Let's go ahead and try to do it. Solution. So because the x comes first uh, in this equation, this is a hyperbola that opens left and right. So we know it opens left and right. Uh, also, we know the center. To find the center, you just switch the signs here on these numbers. It's h, k. Remember, the x goes with the h, the y goes with the k. So the center would be 2 comma 1. You just switch the sign. The general form, by the way, the general formula is x minus h squared over a squared. This is for a hyperbola that opens left and right. y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So this is the general formula that we're using. And so you see the, the center is h comma k. So center hk, and so basically we're just uh, switching the sign here. So because it's x minus h, so it's x minus 2, so h is 2, and then it's y minus k, so it's y minus 1, so k is 1. So you can just switch the sign to get the center. You'll notice that a is the square root of this number because a squared is 9. So a is the square root of 9, which is 3, and b is the square root of 4, which is 2. And so a is just always the square root of whatever is here based on this formula. I should emphasize that different books have different formulas and different ways of presenting this material. Um, I just like this way. So, but not everyone does it the same way. So, which makes it more confusing uh, if you're just learning this. But a is the square root of whatever is here using this method always. Uh, if it was an ellipse, in an ellipse, a is the square root of a bigger number. In a hyperbola, a is the square root of whatever is here. X comes first, opens left and right. Y comes first, opens up and down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and plot everything. So I will do my best to graph this. You don't have the most pretty graphs in the world, but I can do it, you can do it. So this is Y. And so let's start by plotting the center. So the center is um, 2 comma 1. So from here, from the origin, we'll go right to and we'll go up one like that. Because it opens left and right, we go left and right by a. So from the center, we'll go left and right by three. So one, two, three, put a dot. One, two, three, put a dot. And then we'll go up and down by two. One, two, put a dot. And then one, two, put a dot. And again, that's because it opens left and right, we go left and right by a. If it opens up and down, you go up and down by a. And then you draw a rectangle. This is the funnest part <laughs> for me. And the rectangle has a name. It's called the fun dimental rectangle. So it's got the word fun in it. I'm going to write that down because it's so cool. I love this thing. It's called the fun dimental rectangle. I have this image of like a statistician wearing a top hat, smoking a cigar, naming this. But I don't know if that's the case. I just... I always have a mental image. <laughs> and then you draw these, these, these lines. Hopefully my line is correct here. This is a rough sketch, not perfect. Whoops, it's supposed to go through the corners. These are the asymptotes. These are slant asymptotes or oblique asymptotes. And then this point here, this is called the vertex, and so is this one. These are points on the hyperbola. And because it opens left and right, you just do this. Really beautiful. Even though it's not perfect, it makes me feel like a super artist. And that's a rough sketch of the graph of a hyperbola. The most important thing uh, for most people, most people care about this point, this point, this point, this point, this point. That that's the key. If these points are right, and like you're taking, you're, maybe you're taking a class in college or high school or whatever. If you get these points right, you're probably going to be okay. Most people aren't nitpicky about like the intercepts and, you know, just if these points are good, then you have the main idea. So yeah, kind of a fun problem. Uh, more fun than I thought it would be. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Really, really fun. Good luck.